Hey guys, back out here in my shop. I'm going to try to continue working on this uh, bigger CNC build uh, for my buddy Jim. I uh, haven't been out here a whole lot uh, lately, if you can tell from my voice. I've had, got another cold. I don't know what the deal is this year. I've had so many colds. But uh, anyway, I got out here a little bit this weekend and uh, tried to get these rails fixed and everything. Got this all. The Z axis plate moving nice and slow. Got the Z axis somewhat put together. Today I'm going to try to work on getting the rails cut and get those mounted. Uh, I do have my router mount made. One thing I did do to uh, modify Jim one of a few modifications uh, to this one, or actually I guess he just made some suggestions and I said sure I can I can do it. So with this one. I've got uh, T-nuts in here to mount the, the router mount, and you'll notice I've got three sets of holes here, and then what I did is I put three sets of holes in this, so he can mount this, you know, he can match all three of them up and have it sitting like that, or he could match just two of them up, put it down here lower, or if he's doing something thicker and needs the height, the added height, he can actually put it up here and get it a little higher, so he's got... Uh, really about three different choices there of how he wants to uh, set his router height on there. So that was just one of the one of the extra little features I did for him. So anyway, I got my prints out here. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the uh, aluminum angle for the Z axis rails, and uh, I'll maybe fire the camera back up when I get that going. Okay, I've got both the uh, z-axis angles cut, and I probably mentioned this before in one of the other videos, uh, but I'll go ahead and tell you again. Uh, you can cut this real easy with uh, your miter saw if you have one. Uh, if you got a carbide tip blade on there, which I think most of them are these days, uh, it'll go through this soft aluminum really easy, and you get a nice, nice square cut, and it'll make, leave just a little bit of a, you know, slight burr. You just take a little, little file here. And File that off and it's nice and smooth, so no problem. Another thing I want to point out about these angles is you got to remember, and again, I think I mentioned this in my other video, but when you're putting, uh, drilling the holes for these angles, you got to make sure to drill one one way and then one the opposite because there are a right and a left. So make sure you don't, uh, you know, set up your drill press and drill both of them and have them both the same way. That won't work. Okay, I managed to. Uh, Get the rails put on the z-axis here, got the motor mount, or router mount I should say, on here, got the bearing mount, all the, the motor mount for up here, all this ready to go. So, I guess probably the next step is uh, taking a trip to Lowe's and get some tuba for us to make the frame and go ahead and uh, start making a frame for this, because that's about all I lack. Still need to cut a few other little parts. Uh, some of the y-axis uh, y-axis bearing mount, that kind of thing. Another thing I might mention too is I think it, with the first video I was talking about making this roughly the size of my other machine which is behind the camera there about 40 inches wide by about 26 inch worth of cutting area but you know I got a, I bought two uh, eight foot angles which, you know, by the time you cut them in half, you get four foot. So I called Jim the other day. I said, hey, you know, we might as well make this thing, the table, four, four foot or 48 inches by 40. So by doing that, you know, of course, you lose a little uh, because of the gantry here. But we should have a cutting area of about, uh, I don't know, maybe 34 by 40, something like that. So it's going to be a good, a good bit bigger than what I originally started out with but uh, he was okay with that said so he had room for one that big in the shop so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make it that four foot since I've got the angle here what the heck and besides the lead screws you know you have to cut them anyway so it wasn't that much to get an extra lead screw so anyway that's gonna do it for this video if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already please do uh, if you like the 
kind of videos you're seeing on here, please click the like button. Uh, uh, as always, uh, you know, check out my website. I always have lots of free plans and stuff on there. I know, it's time to go out, Amy. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Rocky's got to go out, so we're heading out. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.